Let's see if I can let's see if I can do this video without rambling and sounding stupid. Um, I plan on doing two videos, but I'm only doing one because I tried doing the other one, and I am so pissed off that I can't even go onto that topic right now. I've been working on the uh, project I talk about in another video, and got on YouTube, you know, catching up on videos today. And seen about the FTC fine against YouTube and the new rules that they're putting in against creators and everything else. And man, this is just really another case of an unregulated government alphabet agency sticking their dick where they shouldn't be sticking it and fucking things up. And I tried doing a video on that. I, I, I just couldn't. I, I'm too frustrated. So I'm going to do the video. That would have been my second one. And I'm going to show you a product and what I've found with this product. And I've been using it a couple of years now. And why you should have it. Now, this is more a product geared towards men. But I'm sure ladies could use it too. If they thought about it. And I'll probably discuss that a little bit too. The product I'm talking about, and I think everybody should have it in their bug out bag, their house, their bug out location. And as silly as this product may seem, until I explain it, then you'll understand the point. It is every man jack grooming beard balm. You don't have to use Everyman Jack. Uh, there are several companies that make it. This just happens to be the cheapest around here. And it has stuff that's good for the skin under the beard. And it has a little bit of beeswax in it. Now you're saying, but Jason, I don't have a beard. Right now, you don't. But in a grid-down situation, shaving becomes a luxury. You've got the water, you've got everything that you need to get a shave. Chances are, at some point, you're going to have, whether it's a week's growth, two weeks' growth, a month's growth, long beard, short beard, whatever that's where this comes into play and not so much for making you look pretty for the girls because you know when you're trying to survive that's the last thing on your mind this is more for winter use like i said i've been using this for a couple years i'm a hunter so i'm out in the elements a lot in the winter time and i have found with every man jack it has a little bit of uh, beeswax in it that yeah, smells really good too ah. and it's not a heavy hold like a mustache wax if you're turning up a mustache in the handlebars i have some in now i put it in about an hour ago and as you can see my beard for the most part still flows freely it's it's not weighed down it's not stiff like there's mousse or you know some kind of wax in it just that little bit of beeswax put an ever so light coating of wax on the beard and in the winter what happens if you're out in the snow and you have any facial hair at all that snow hits it it melts it refreezes turns to ice that ice sits up against your skin cooling effect as helping pull body heat out of your body so with a little bit of this in it allows it while it's in water form to run off relatively quick and what don't run off quick and that still freezes on because of that little light layer of wax is not going to freeze and stick to the hair follicle let's just do your normal movement it's just gonna slide off and, and and fly off and you know i found that you know using this you know actually you know quite by mistake while hunting uh putting some in after taking a shower when i was going hunting at one time and it ended up snowing and it made a big difference at the ice build up 
um, how cold my face got because of the ice buildup. And this just should be one item that you have to help keep your core temperature from dropping. You know, it's, it's a small bottle. It's only two ounces, you know. I mean, it's really, as you can see, a small bottle. So it's not going to take up a lot of space, but does have a lot of great benefits um, for wintertime use. And as I said, the ladies could use this. They could uh, put some in their hand, uh, emulsify it like uh, you would for a beard, and uh, run it in their hair to uh, give their hair that coating that would allow uh, water and melting snow uh, to run off the hair instead of freezing in and, and there again taking um, your body heat even though you're going to have a hat on sometimes if you have really longer hair it's hard to get it up at, you know all under a sock hat or something um, it's just a product for uh, winter use that I've found very beneficial, and I thought I'd share it with you. You guys have a good day. I hope to have another video up later today. Uh, if time allows it, I've got several things to uh, do today, uh, housewise. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good day. Take care of one another. Take care of yourselves. And watch what's going on because it's getting wild out there.